It's in the heart of the Games Plaza, but it's a no-go zone for the public. The Civic Center and a portion of the library have been set aside as a refuge for the athletes. Today, we got a peek inside. It's a part of the Games open only to the athletes, a place to hang out with other athletes or just chill. It's the Athletes' Village. This is a place where they can come in um, and kind of, not necessarily unwind, but just escape for a little bit, you know. They can come in, uh, there's over 700 seats in there. Uh, they can find a spot if they just want to be alone and enjoy their time, whether they're preparing or they're reflecting on, on the competition. So it's just, the, it's their haven, it's their safe haven where they can, they can really um, be themselves. The dining area seats 700 athletes at a time, serving an average of 5,000 meals per day. 22 Red Seal chefs have had a hand in preparing all those meals, some of whom are students from the College of New Caledonia. Uh, Prince has been a lot of fun. It's actually a lot different from any other competition. Even nationals, like nationals, we all hang out as a team. But here we're also with other sports. Normally in nationals we just hang out with gymnastics and like tumbling. But here it's all the sports we get to go watch other sports. They're kind of really cool. Upstairs from the dining room is the Poxy Lounge, a makeshift medical clinic. The doctors here see an average of 50 to 70 injuries per day, already having diverted a thousand visits to the hospital. Soft tissue injury, pulled muscles, um, uh, could be uh, old uh, tendonitis that's flared up. Um, there's always, uh, the, with a group of uh, people, there's always, you know, some, a few coughs and colds and minor sort of illness that way. The top floor of the library is solely the domain of athletes for use as a lounge. I thought we had planned for everything, um, but stuff comes up, you know, whether it doesn't, um, things don't arrive on time or they're not set up in time or, or we don't have the space that we originally thought we were going to have. Um, it's just, it's impossible to over, over prepare. That's the biggest piece that when, I, when I'm doing my transfer of knowledge to 2017 into 2019 um, is exactly that. Plan for absolutely everything. Regardless of where organizers feel they may have missed, Rachel Tam wouldn't know it. I think the Athletes Village helps. Like all the hotels are in like the small, like I don't know, trapezoid square, whatever it is, of, of the Athletes Village. So we all get to like see each other in the cafeteria and everything. And they even have like pins for us to trade to like get us like talk to more, talk more to each other. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, I'm having a blast. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.